All right, Nick, I got the uh, the videos. I'm going to go over the non-reverse. Must be a little chilly out there because you got that glove on. And it's cold here. Um, good wind. Really good left side there. Right's getting down real quick. Yeah, uh, left's a bit higher than it had been. <clears throat> I still think, I, I just think here you could hold that left side back a little bit more through here. But that left still landing in a good spot, like it is getting deeper. See, and, and this is the part I like, is that when your right is rotating, when that, whoops, let's go here. If we watch that right knee, that rotates and your foot stays a support system. The reason why I think that I mean the only reason the only thing that I think if that if that left arm stays back a bit more I think you're going to catch this discus back a little deeper it's still pretty deep though I can't really tell for sure based off the the filming um but my big thing is watching that right knee and watching the foot and if the foot slides then you're going to jump if the foot's not sliding you know you're holding that left heel grounded here when you're holding that left heel I still think get that left elbow back behind the glute a little bit more and when you're when you're focusing on when you're hitting these nons try and focus on those feelings on holding that left heel hold the glute hold the quad hold the hamstring the bent left just a slight bend like very minimal bend but it's staying strong and that right knee pushes down and rotates that shoulder forward I mean, even here, still, still a good position. I know you're saying the feelings were off a bit, but other than that high left foot there, I think this is a pretty good throw. I think you're strong with that right side. I think you're solid out of the back. Could hold that left back a little longer to get more time for the left leg to get down but good finish there